Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, we're going to hook up an electric range. First thing you're going to do is go around to the back. You'll see an access panel. This is one on the back of an LG. The one we're going to be doing is a GE, so it looks a little different. It has five different screws that need to be removed. The one at the bottom, and then there's four black screws, two on each side of the access panel. Once we get those removed, we can pull the access panel off and we can see where we're going to be working on wiring this up. So the first thing we're going to do after that is use the strain relief or the cord clamp. And that just comes apart, take the two screws out, and it gets inserted into the hole where the cord will be going through. And what that does is clamp down on the cord and keep it from pulling on the electrical connections. Just keeps things safe so that no one can pull it out. So we've put the cord clamp together and you can see underneath here all I have to do now is put the two screws in and what I'm going to do is just put them in loosely because I'm going to have to feed my cord through the strain relief or the cord clamp here so I'll put one screw very loosely in each side now we're going to be wiring up a three wire outlet the cord looks like this it's going to go into the outlet that looks like this and it's a three wire, so it'll have two hots and a neutral. You can see printed on the middle one is neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and feed that through my cord clamp. And I'll pull just enough wire up through the hole to reach my three connections. Now once I get enough wire pulled up, I want to go ahead and separate the wires. The one that says neutral is going to go to the white wire. The outer two will go to the red or the black or also the hot wires. doesn't matter really which one, but you always want to make sure that the neutral, which is usually the center, goes to the white wire. Okay, now that I've got all my wire connections snugged up, I'm going to go underneath where the strain relief or the cord clamp is and tighten each side just alternate side by side so one side doesn't get crimped or tightened more than the other and go back and forth just to snug it up make sure that the cord does not get pulled out of the range and cause an electrical hazard check that it's pretty tight I can give it a few more turns here don't want to go too tight but I want to make sure that it's snug enough so that it can't be pulled out if something happens now we just wired up a three wire cord. This is what a four wire outlet looks like. And here is the four wire cord. The only difference between the two is the extra ground wire. The rest of it gets hooked up the same, the white to the white, the black to the black, and the red to the red. The ground wire goes to the green nut here if you're doing a four wire job. But now that we're done with our three wire, we can go ahead and put the cover back on our range and we're done hooking up the three wire electric range. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching. 